The pressure in different parts of our respiratory system are different and these differential pressures generate pressure gradients to ensure gas flow. Airway opening pressure or mouth pressure is the pressure at the mouth or nose of an individual. Also called airway pressure, the pressure is zero or atmospheric unless positive pressure is applied at the mouth or nose. Body surface pressure is the pressure exerted at the body surface. This is equal to zero unless the patient is using a pressurized chamber like hyperbaric chamber or negative pressure ventilator like iron lung. Intrapleural pressure is the pressure in the potential space between parietal and visceral pleura. Normally, the pressure within the pleural cavity is slightly less than the atmospheric pressure, which is known as negative pressure. This negative force acts as a suction to keep the lungs inflated. The pressure inside the pleural cavity is a result of external forces affecting the parietal and visceral pleura. The elastic recoil of lung tissue and the surface tension on the alveoli causes the visceral pleura to be pulled inward. On the other hand, elastic pull by the thoracic cage causes the parietal pleural to be pulled outward causing pleural space volume to increase. This reduces the pressure inside the pleural space according to the pressure volume relationship of the Boyle's law. Alveolar pressure also called intrapulmonary pressure or lung pressure is the pressure of air inside the lung alveoli. The pressure within the alveoli of lungs is affected by the same force that affects intrapleural pressure. Differences between the pressures we discussed earlier are called pressure gradients. There are three key pressure gradients involved in the mechanics of breathing. They are the trans-airway, transpulmonary, and the transthoracic pressure gradients. Trans-airway pressure is the pressure difference between airway opening and the alveolar pressure. It produces movement of air in the conductive airways of the respiratory tree. It represents the pressure generated by resistance to air flow in the airway. Transpulmonary pressure or transalveolar pressure is the pressure difference between alveoli and pleural space. It is the pressure required to maintain alveolar inflation and is therefore sometimes called the alveolar distending pressure. All modes of ventilation increases transpulmonary pressure either by decreasing intrapleural pressure as in negative pressure ventilators, or by increasing alveolar pressure as seen in positive pressure ventilators. The transthoracic pressure gradient is the difference between the pressure in the pleural space and the pressure at the body surface, and represents the total pressure required to expand or contract the lungs and chest wall. Together, the trans-airway pressure and trans-thoracic pressure is called trans-respiratory pressure.